is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. All right, 2.04 of the time. Um, if you don't know what's going on, uh, I can't imagine that. If you're listening to the WBAP News, um, I got a call uh, earlier today from my producer, David, saying, uh, listen, if uh, you can't get in the building, give me a call. I guess I could have done the show via phone. I've done that, actually. I, you know, I'll tell you a funny story. I used to do, uh, uh, in the mornings, I would do... Uh, the morning drive at 85 KOA in Denver. And then in the afternoons, late afternoons, I did a television talk show. It was a regional show, hit about four or five states, I think. Um, at, and it was in the wintertime. And there was a huge, horrific wreck um, just, oh, probably five minutes from the studio where we did the television talk show. And I had, you know, the guest, uh, you know, couldn't make it. And it was it was a mess. I ended up, uh, I did that show by phone. Now, get this, the visuals um, back in the control room, they were using B-roll. B-roll is, uh, now that's a term we use for, um, we go back and, hey, do we have, uh, you know, anything with Bush? Do we have anything with this? Well, yeah, we've got him walking to this. So Anyway, you keep all that archived. So they did B-roll of my shows. And then when I finally made it in, uh, they took a camera crew, went out in the parking lot, in this driving, driving snowstorm. And I did the show via phone, walking through the parking lot with a camera crew. It was uh, what I can only imagine, like, um, you know, one of those CBS or NBC documentaries where it was it was nuts. And quality was horrible. But uh, we pulled it off. So I'm sure, had I not been able, because everything around here was in lockdown. That's correct. Uh, Here in uh, the American Airlines Center, an employee was fatally shot at an apartment building. Um, And I guess it's just right next to us. Is is that right? Uh, Yes, sir. It's catty corner from us. And police were still looking for the suspect. Um, That was according to Deputy Chief Thomas Castro. Um, It was the North End Apartments at 2300 block of North Field Street. That is, that's just catty corner from where I do the show every day. And that's why David was concerned. If you can't get here, call me. Um, we would have been on the air no matter what. But uh, so far, they're still looking for this guy, I guess. Um, but uh, it's not just some random guy picking people off the street. It's nothing like that. It, evidently, um, you know, they knew each other, perhaps. Uh, but we don't know for sure. Officers are still uh, looking for the suspect. His identity has not been released, and no other further details were uh, were available. So um, every, everything's back open. We knew it was going to be okay. We knew it was going to be okay when the program director, Kevin Graham, went to lunch. And we figured, okay, he wouldn't leave if he couldn't get back in. And he came back. And he came back. No worse for the worse. No holes in him. No holes No in extra him ones. At all. Uh, and somebody's going to be mad because I'm making fun. And I'm not making fun. I'm just glad Kevin made it back. Well, he didn't bring lunch for us. So I'm a little upset lunch. about that. I don't know that. what that was about. He, but I could have done my He Rick was Robert able show. to get out and get the nourishment he needed, but uh, he got back all right. All right. Um, you know, uh, I have got I, I've got more email than I'll be able to read in the next two weeks, and it ranges from the ridiculous to the sublime. Rick, you're not a conservative. You're not a Democrat. You're not a libertarian. You're a conservative. Yes, I am. Uh, I, you know, I don't agree on this and that, you know, feel free to email. It takes me a while to get to everything. Uh, It takes me a while to get, I mean, everything from, well, let me tell you about the second spring in the bump stock. Okay. That kind of stuff. Honestly, uh, uh, I'm uh, there's nothing I'm going to do with that. I mean, you tell me about your, your, how you feel about things. uh, I'll read that. Certainly. I mean, that's what I do on the air. Um, But as far as, you know, telling me how many screws go in here and uh, it's just not something, you know, I'm into. I like guns. I have a lot of them in my 
position has always been the, the less you know about my guns and where they are and what they are, the better. Uh, but that's just the way I was raised. It, you know, it's, I, I understand if you have a passion for firearms, but that's not what this is about. It's not ever been about guns other than the left uh, politicize the shooting and, you know, they're always going to try and get your guns or limit your ability to get guns or limit your ability to, uh, to get ammunition or whatever. That's the left. It's always been that way. It's not going to change. And that's why you need people like the NRA. You, you can't deal with this every day. You can't figure out who's trying to blindside you every day. So, uh, you get in touch with an organization like the national rifle association. They do, all kinds of stuff, lobbying, um, but they're by far not the largest uh, lobbying group as far as money's concerned. Um, you know, before last week, membership in the NRA uh, meant you could gain access to a broad range of discounts from special rates on auto insurance policies to cheaper flights when you book through its website. Uh, they, uh, they had a discount program offering a ton of perks. But in the wake of this massacre at the Florida high school, uh, activist, and the key word is activist, activists flooded social media with calls to end corporate partnerships with America's most powerful gun lobby. Um, and some people caved, you know, just like some people believe, um, Satan created the AR 15, just like some people believe, oh my God, it's a military weapon. Anybody can buy. Uh, I mean, people laboring under all these sad misconceptions. Uh, you know, I, my question was, why are companies cutting their ties with the NRA? Their response was, in time, these brands will be replaced by others who recognize the patriotism and determined commitment to constitutional freedoms or char- characteristics of a marketplace they very much want to serve. And if you're one of those companies, that's what I'm talking about. NRA members still have access to other perks like uh, free gun gun owner insurance, and you should have that, options to save on travel costs. But the listings on the member benefits have uh, dwindled quite a bit. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you who caved, who knee-jerked by all of these people. Oh, my God, the NRA somehow, some way, in some abstract fashion, was responsible for the killing of 17 students. Now, if you believe that, man, you will buy anything. When we come back, I'll tell you the companies that have severed the, severed their ties with, um, with the NRA. Maybe you want to make your voice heard. I mean, if they want to sever their ties based on the fact that NRA didn't do anything, but they're a symbol of guns. Um, man, that's a that's a pretty lame excuse. Um, Two eleven the time. I'll give you the list of companies next on News Talk eight twenty WBAP. All right, uh, seventeen minutes after the hour. Th- th- this is what I'm talking about, Rick. If you don't know, you don't have to have a bump stock to imitate fully auto fire. The technique works on AR and AK platforms. Requires no tools. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with that. All right, I appreciate your knowledge, but I'm not doing you know the gun show 101 here. I know what you can buy and what you can't buy. Um, extenuating circumstances for fully auto guns. Don't tell me. Tell the people that don't even know what an AR-15 is. Uh, I mean, do you see what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, it, it just it, it drives me nuts. Yeah, I mean, some of you are extremely knowledgeable about firearms and, you know, another technique that isn't as fast, thumb and belt loop method, RCP, rifle caliber pistol using readily. Okay, I know that. I get all that. This information needs to be put out in the public so they're educated, so they know what's going on. You know, and at the same time, you know, I, I'm so sick of the left using every single opportunity like school shootings, or somebody shot themselves in a the foot cleaning their gut, whatever it is. You know, let's get rid of guns. Let's get, you're never going to get rid of guns. Forget about it. Well, let's at least ban the type that kill people. What? 
Let's let's ban the guns that kill people. Well, those would be in the hands of the people that kill people. So let's ban those people, then you won't have a problem. Well, no, Rick, that's a human being. He filters the world's actions through a different, uh, different way just because he's not like, shut up. If you commit a crime with a firearm, your butt should go to jail. We should stop making excuses for people. It, it, it has nothing to do with the guns. You know, and all these, these educated idiots out there, especially on television, the Hollywood set. And, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you know what I miss? I miss David Letterman. I, I, I miss Jay Leno. I miss being able to turn on late night uh, television and be entertained. Just throw my my boots up on the table and, you know, kick back with a sparkling beverage late at night and watch Letterman or watch Leno. You know, I can't do that anymore. Everybody that's on, I mean, thank God for Trump or they wouldn't have anything to talk about. I mean, Colbert, Colbert, excuse me, Colbert, Colbert. Uh, Yeah, this guy is a walking, talking moron. And the other guy, I don't know, every single one of them, you can't turn on late night television and kick back like you used to with uh, Letterman or with Leno or before him, Johnny Carson. I was young then, but it was still entertaining. You can't do that. It's, it's you know, Trump today, well, today in Washington, it's like all their material revolves around Donald Trump. I don't want to hear that crap. I, I mean, I truly don't. It's, uh, well, I'm I'm ranting and raving, aren't I, Randy? No, you're on a roll. It's I, entertaining when you do this, Rick, because just, you're thinking things that the rest of us would like to, you it, put them into words better. It just, it just, have you watched late night television? No, I, I got rid of my TV a long time it's, ago. It's, it's, a, it's a joke. It's an absolute anti- Everything on television is anti-Trump. While well, Trump today said... I, and, Every single late night host is on some type of anti-Trump thing. If that's the way you feel, fine. I'm tuning in to be entertained. And then, of course, their guests fall in line with their their political leanings. Everything is political now. It's, you know, I can't watch. You know what? I I found, I found, uh, you know, I'm skimming around. I I found a um, rerun of Ed Sullivan. Yeah. The other, I didn't even know that was on, but I found a rerun of Ed Sullivan. I remember setting Indian style with graham crackers and milk in my grandparents' home watching Ed Sullivan. Um, you know, the, what was it? Uh, the other night he had on the Rolling Stones. They looked about 12. Yeah. Um, had on uh, the Beatles last night. They looked about 14. Um, you know, it was entertaining. They're no good writers anymore. No, I, I'm a voracious write, reader. Basically... How many people here hate Trump? Everybody, read, okay, you guys are hired. Start writing me stuff. No, uh, I mean, real writers. No, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I've, I've, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, yeah, it dry. And I'll tell you something else that simply, do I have time here? Yeah, go for something, it. Something, uh, the first transgender is now in the military. What? The first trans, that's no place for your goofy social experiments, nor is the public school. What what do you, well, we're going to be safer now, ladies and gentlemen, because transgenders are in the middle. They're going to scare our enemies to death. You know what? I don't care what your personal preference is. I don't care what your sexual identification is. I don't care about any of that. The military is not some place for a giant human experiment. Well, let me see. Now, let's get uh, 50 transgenders, and we'll weigh that against 50 homosexuals, and then we've got to have 50 lesbians. Don't uh, don't don't make them mad. You know what they can do. And let's put them all together. See who's the greatest. All right. Where's your money on the greatest fighting force? The lesbians, the homosexuals, the transgenders, the bisexuals. The Russian army or the midgets? Which one is it? Uh, I mean, th- this is insane. This is we have lost our collective minds in this country. You don't uh, screw around with the military. That's not the place uh, for human experimentation. Nor is the public school. Oh man, I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, you go in there, but I feel pretty. Get your butt in that boy's bathroom, urinate, and get back to class. 
Would you say it's a lack of leadership, maybe? There is no leadership. There you go. There is no there is no one that's willing to take the hard questions, make the hard decisions. Well, what if I make somebody mad? What if they don't like me? What if I don't get a Christmas card? Uh, you know what? Stop it. Stand up. Pull your pants up. Turn your hat around. Act like somebody. Can you do that, please? We're about to lose this country. With, with all these uh, free-to-be, you-and-me, hug-a-tree, all oh, this bark feels so good. We've got to do something to get this country back, or we will lose it. We will lose it. Pretty soon it's going to be, hey, how do you like in the United States of Venezuela? I'm sorry. As soon as we turn socialist, I'm taking the first boat off this rock. Alexa, Alexa, get rid of all these morons wrapped in idiots. Can you do that? Alexa, listen to me. Listen to me. Get rid of all these anti-gun nuts. Can you do that? Oh, are you listening to me, Alexa? All right. Sorry about the ramp. one 800 2 no, I'm not. one 800 288 wbap one 800 288 Let me give you the, I'll get to your calls. Hang on just a second. Let me give you the list. Of um, the folks that, oh, no, we've got to cut our ties with the NRA. You know, the NRA, uh, yeah, they went down and killed 17 kids the other day. Uh, we got to, what has the NRA got to do with anything? No one has answered that to me yet. Why was the NRA a target? It wasn't a target after the Vegas shooting. It wasn't a target after Columbine. It wasn't a target after... Uh, the shooting, what is it, Sutherland Springs, was that, that the name of the place where the church was here in Texas? Uh, it, why all of a sudden is the NRA the target? <clears throat> Excuse me. If I blow my voice out today, then so be it. Um, it, it. I don't get it. I don't understand. So these businesses, oh, no, we can't be a part of the NRA family. The first one, the First National Bank of Omaha, said it's going to stop issuing an NRA branded Visa card. A bank spokesman said customer feedback prompted a review of our partnership with the NRA, so we chose not to renew its current contract. Here you go, customer feedback. A customer, a bunch of liberal anti-gun nuts that don't know the front end of a gun from the rear. Uh, well, we we don't know. You know, the NRA could have been down there, uh, so they got rid of their credit card. Enterprise Rent a Car, Alamo Rent a Car, National Car Rental. They're all owned by Enterprise Enterprise Holdings. Uh, they said they would stop offering NRA membership discounts on March 26th. Well, we we just can't have that. We just can't have gun owners driving our vehicles. Okay, well, good. I don't need to rent a car from Enterprise or Alamo or National then. Um, uh, SM, uh, SYMC, they make the uh, Norton antivirus software. Uh, they own the identity theft protection company LifeLock, huge company, uh, announced it has stopped its discount program for NRA members. So LifeLock is right up there. Hertz, they made their announcement in a tweet. We have notified the NRA that we are ending the NRA's rental car discount program with Hertz. Um, MetLife said it's going to stop offering NRA members discounts for home and auto insurance policies. MetLife, uh, Simply Safe, which makes uh, home security systems, uh, they discounted their existing relationship with the NRA. The CEO, Chad, Chad what, what did Chad say? Well, we, we, we're, well, we're, we're not going to do this anymore. We, ooh, 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 it's the, it's the uh, NRA. Ooh, would you feel a chill? Um, related, Bank of America, they want to talk to their customers who make guns. Bank of America, they want to talk to its customers who make guns. Okay. Um, Avis and Budget Rent-A-Car, which are owned by Avis Budget Group, said through a spokesperson they'll stop offering discounts on car rentals to NRA members. Uh, well, well, you can't blame them, can you? They own guns. They own guns. You're not going to rent cars to people that own guns. Who knows what they're going to do? Drive out in the Old West and 
the two cars will head off at each other at high noon in the middle of the street. Uh, it's just stupid. Uh, Allied and North American, two moving van lines that are both owned by Serva, said that they uh, no longer have an affiliate relationship with the NRA, effective immediately. Yeah. So Allied and North American uh, moving vans. True car, true. It's a, buy, a car buying service. They said Friday that it would uh, end its deal with the NRA. Okay, well, I don't know how many people buy uh, cars through True anyway. Uh, Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines announced Saturday morning that they're ending their discounted rates for NRA members. We will be requesting that the NRA remove our information immediately from their website. NRA. Okay. Um, you know, these airlines got a bad enough uh, rep as it is. United Airlines. Uh, followed Delta a short time later, saying the company will no longer offer discounts on flights to the NRA annual meeting. Because God knows what could happen there. Uh, you know, they, could, they could be thrown down in the town. Um, so Delta and United, Paramount RX, they work with a third-party vendor to uh, provide prescription drug, uh, drug discount programs to NRA members. But the company said in a tweet Saturday, it's working with that vendor to discontinue the program and remove the offering. I guess uh, you don't want uh, gun owners to be taking prescription drugs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that in itself, I, I don't know what they're thinking. Well, Starkey, that's a company that makes hearing aids. Can you hear me? Do you hear what I said? Starkey, uh, they make hearing aids. They announced uh, Saturday evening that they've decided not to renew our discount program with the NRA and asked the organization to remove their information from their website. Uh, but nobody could hear them. So, you know, they'll probably still be trying to do that. Um, and evidently, there are others waiting in the wings. My question is why? You know, it's not like, you know, I flew every 10 or 12 days for 17 years. And, I, I, you know, I didn't have a favorite. Well, I probably had a favorite airline. But I chose the airline. I was going from here to San Diego, Lindbergh Field. Um, in the wintertime, you know, I chose a different airline. You know, I, I went based on the weather. Uh, you know, American changes, obviously, in Dallas. Continental changes in Houston. Um, Southwest, which I very rarely flew, changes in Phoenix. And, of course, the hub for United was in Denver. So I checked the weather. Okay, what's the best chance of not getting stuck? And I'd take that airline. And I did that for 17 years. So, I mean, none of these airlines have such great service. They need need to be writing home about them. Um, but I, I don't get it. Why? Somebody explain that to me. That's my legitimate question. How did the NRA get embroiled in this? It doesn't make any... Well, Rick, you know those transgenders in the military. Okay, stop. Just stop. Um, let me um, let me go to your call. Let's go to uh, Jerry in Lucas. Jerry, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Jerry? Hey, I'm doing fine, Rick, and really appreciate uh, you speaking uh, truth to power out there. Somebody's <laughs> got to speak up and let these people know. I, I do hope conservatives, uh, you know, will stand up and fight. I mean, that's what I think propelled us to the point we got a uh a, a outsider as a president and thank goodness for that but th folks need to call these companies i i you know i don't have to go delta uh i can find another airline i've got some investments and in insurance with metlife i'm going to pull my money out of there and i'm going to let them know but people have to speak up and let these companies know we're not going to put up with this you know, weak need liberal leaning, you know, hypocritical type of response. And and where you know, it, it really concerns me, Rick, that folks just don't seem to, especially on the liberal side, uh, it, they just don't even want to deal with the facts here. I mean, look, just look at these other shootings, some of the school shootings. You know, they, they didn't necessarily buy the guns. They got them from somewhere else. Remember, Oklahoma City bombing. I don't remember liberals wanting to ban fertilizer. Uh, remember uh, the World Trade Center bombing, uh, you know, 9-11. Were we banning airplanes at that point? 
the Boston bombers. We're going to ban crockpots. I mean, it just is an endless array of these silly uh, knee-jerk responses from liberals that just drives you crazy. Makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. You know, you, I, I don't understand. I've yet to hear um, someone that's identified themselves as a reporter. And there are a lot of people out there with that title that don't know how to spell it. Uh, I, I've yet to figure out why nobody has said, okay, why? Why uh, United? Why Delta? Why Enterprise? Why Hertz? Why Avis and Budget? Why uh, MetLife? Why LifeLock? Why First National Bank? Why are you, you discontinuing uh, your, your relationship? Only one company came out and said, well, after feedback from our customers. Are you kidding me? Who are your customers? <laughs> Well, uh, like you said earlier, I, I mean, the NRA didn't go into that school and hurt anybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you ban all guns, somebody will find a gun. Somebody will find another weapon. Uh, over in Europe, they're running people down with trucks and cars. I mean, are we going to ban those? I mean, it just gets so ridiculous. It, it, you know, you just it just is nauseating how silly this all becomes. And that's the first response from liberals is, uh, you know, uh, to a gun situation is ban the guns. Uh, where are they with all these other issues? They don't seem to have a problem with all these other uh, issues where guns aren't involved. And how many of these situations, uh, had there been somebody at that front door or back door or wherever that guy got access to, if somebody would have taken him out with the gun, we'd all be praising we, him then. Exactly. See, that's the point. Here's the point. You know, and I don't want to turn this into, you know, the umpteenth day of gun talk. This isn't a gun issue. This is, this is a reality versus liberalism uh, run amok issue. This is a person issue, a people issue. I mean, my God, you sit home and watch late night TV and, oh boy, we got our first transgender in the military. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean, if you grow up on a steady diet of that, no wonder you're screwed up. Uh, forgive me. Well, Rick, you must not be very tolerant. I'm tolerant, but I'm sick and tired of the peripheral nut jobs pushing it down my throat. I've had it. You know, we're about to lose this country politically. We're about to lose this country economically. We've already lost this country spiritually. And if we don't get it together, man, there's not going to be any school to go to. It won't matter. You know, what well, the government will tell you where to go to school, where to eat, where to work, how much to make. I mean, do you realize what's hanging in the balance? Think about this for just a second. Do you realize what's hanging in the balance? <laughs> Uh, 2.48 the time. I'm Rick Roberts. Glad you're along. 1-800-288-WBAP. 1-800-288-9227. Um, they're still searching, I guess, for uh, for the nut job that uh, killed the guy. Is that right? All right. As soon as uh, something develops on that, we'll let you know. Let's get to your call, Sebastian. Sebastian, thank you for waiting. How you doing? I'm um, doing all right. And yourself? Doing okay, thanks. Well, uh, the NRA they fund the they fund a lot of people on the right, yeah. Uh, yeah, they send. Well, they're not one of the biggest donors, but they're yeah, they do. Okay, I, I mean, I don't want to sound like uh, stating the obvious here, but uh, wouldn't that be a pretty good reason for them to want to get a, get rid of uh, the NRA? Well, the NRA is by, I mean, they contribute to, to conservative causes. There's no, no doubt about that. But, you know, they're not, I don't even think they're in the top 10 when it comes to, uh, when it comes to contributions. I, I, I guess I'm asking why, why did this one event change everything? You follow me? Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I guess I don't really know where the the last big, you know, gun grab anti NRA thing uh, was in relation to an election, but I know we do have elections coming up. I, soon. I don't think there has been one, Sebastian. And by the way, I like that name. Uh, I don't think there has been 
you know, a gun grab, um, you know, NRA is Satan's spawn. Uh, ty- I, it didn't happen in Columbine. Didn't happen at that church in, in Texas. Didn't happen uh, the Oklahoma City bombing. Uh, it did, I don't. I don't think there has been one. That's why you know this is so confusing. Confounding, I think, is the better word I'm looking for. Why? Why all of a sudden did the NRA get in some liberal's face? Aha! You're the problem. Uh, the, the AR-15 and the NRA. I don't know how those two things became a topic. I, I mean, with liberals, you know, they always look outside themselves for the problem. You know, it couldn't be me. It's not. Uh, it's not you. It's not what I'm doing. It's not what I'm a part of. Um, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm just a transgendered military midget. I, I mean, it couldn't be me. It couldn't be luck. Uh, it's uh, the NRA didn't kill those kids. The NRA didn't facilitate the killing of those kids. The NRA had nothing to do with it. You know, quite honestly, if you want to be truthful, had. Uh, some of their education programs been in the school, maybe this wouldn't have happened. You don't know. My question is, why are all these free-to-be you and me weak-kneed sisters out here? Well, you know, if we just get rid of the NRA, we'll be okay. And these companies that are cutting ties with the NRA, what's your message? You know, every time some goofball doesn't like something you're doing, you're going to get rid of it? See, that's the same mentality with the, the AR. Well, oh, my God, did you hear what happened in Florida? 17 children lost their lives because Satan created this firearm called an AR, right? And, and then it was uh, put uh, up at a garage sale, and this kid bought it. Oh, come on. I'm so sick of hearing about this garbage. It doesn't even make sense. And if you think about it for more than two seconds, even with a liberal yapping in your ear, it still doesn't make any sense. Mike and Garland. Mike, thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Hi, Mike. I'm really enjoying your program today. Thank you. Um, anyhow, um, you're going to have to give your blood pressure a little bit of a rest here. Oh, I am. I'm drinking coffee like it's going out of style. Anyhow, my point that I was trying to make, and um, I'll be quick here is that the reason why the liberals and the socialists are after the Second Amendment is because most people don't realize the five amendments hinge on the Second Amendment being effective. Without the, first, without the Second Amendment, you can't enforce your right to free, your free speech. You, um, you can be forced to uh, incriminate yourself under the Fifth Amendment. Uh, the Fourth Amendment is unlawful search and seizures, and the Third Amendment uh, concerns housing troops in your f- in uh, in homes. So the reason why none of that is being taken place is the fact that there's too many Americans that are armed and would resist. Well, it, I, I I just don't. Uh, what does any of this got to do with the NRA? Well, the fact is the NRA is backing the conservatives who are backing the Second Amendment. But unfortunately, the Second Amendment um, is under so much fire for, you know, the, it's a scapegoat. It's an indirect way to attack the Second Amendment. I, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm sure with some of these liberal fools out there, uh, look. What happened to everybody being able to live their life the way they want to? It, it, see, even with the homosexual agenda, I don't care if you're gay any more than you care if I'm straight. I don't care who you're sleeping with any more than you care who I'm sleeping with. But, you know, it wasn't enough to tolerate. Then you had to validate. And, and I'm sorry. You know, validation, well, we don't want you to just to accept us or just to tolerate us. We want to be married. Uh, well, it's not enough just to validate my being. Now I want you to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't care what you do in that regard. Uh, d- this country is teetering. It- it's like a guy on a ledge. Tap dancing. You know, sooner or later, he's going to get tired and fall. It, this 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 is nuts, folks. This is crazy. 
United Airlines, Delta Airlines, Hertz, Rent-A-Car. Well, we needed to get rid of our relationship with the NRA. We just can't be around those kind of folks. We just can't be doing We've listened to our customers, and yes, we know they don't want gun owners driving our rental cars. We can't give discounts any longer on you. What if you were sitting next to a person that had a firearm back in his home in Wichita, Kansas? Nobody should be able to to deal with that. No, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me see if I get to I'm on a United Airlines flight, and I'm sitting next to a guy that's on a business trip to L.A., and he's a deer hunter. Oh, my God. Uh, I guess then I could sue United Airlines because I was subjected. With, this man talked about hunting, the killing of Bambi. I, I just couldn't stand it. Uh, you know, I need to find an attorney because it somehow has damaged my psyche. I guarantee that would be a lawsuit. There'd be some mouthpiece out there that would take that case. This is this is the dumbest. Why the NRA? Tell me one re. And, and by the way, if you work for one of these news gathering stations, I'm not here to beat up on you. Why won't you ask that question? Why won't you ask that question? Because you don't want the damn answer. This is the news and talk of Texas. Now it's the Rick Roberts Show on 8:20 a.m. 99.5 FM HD2 News Talk 820 WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. All right, uh, 3.05 the time. You know, I've already been ranting and raving throughout the show. Might as well continue. You know, this country... You know, and before the Hindus and the Muslims and the, everybody else starts calling, well, what about me? Well, what about me? Uh, we tolerate everybody here. You know, this country was founded on the principles of the Bible. Did you know that? Founders were from the Church of England. They wanted to start a new experiment. Uh, they were being oppressed not only by their government, but their theology because it was one and the same the country, this country, this one right here, this country was founded on the principles of the Bible. And since the removal of God and prayer from our schools, now, some of you, your mouth just dropped open. <laughs> what? Prayer? Yeah. You say a, a, a prayer in the morning, get the day going, set the tone. Since the removal of God and prayer from schools, a world of unwanted changes have taken place. Violence has risen to ridiculously horrible levels. General morals, and if you don't know what morals are, look it up. General morals and values have been devalued. Drug use and drug sales have increased tremendously. The use of profanity by kids and faculty members has become the accepted language, and bullying has become part of the landscape. And then, to make matters worse, most kids have little or no understanding of what it means to respect their elders, respect themselves, and respect other people. Prior to the removal of God and prayer from schools, from public schools, our kids had learning environments that were valued. They were valued and appreciated by both kids and their parents. And the respect levels were entirely different than they are today. Today, our kids need us to be a voice for what's best for them and their futures. Kids need that. We all needed that. And when we removed God and prayer from schools... You created a vacuum, and what filled is what we see today. Our kids need to, all you politicians, I don't want to leave here without coming up. I don't want to go back home and tell the people, well, we tried. Uh, how about this? Table uh, putting God in prayer back in school, see what happens. Today, our kids need us to be a voice. Not for what is politically correct, not for what the majority, well, they, you know, it's just be all things to all people. Let's have no guidelines, parameters. Well, we don't need that. 
Today, we need to be a voice for kids. What's best for them? Not necessarily what's popular. And their future. They have no future. All right, uh, let's uh, go to your calls. Let's go to John in Dallas. John, thanks for waiting. How you doing, John? I'm doing great. Thanks, Rick. I'd like to raise two points. Number one, do you remember the liberal outcry for gun control when some crazy shot up a Republican congressional softball game? Yep, sure do. I don't. I don't remember a word from the liberals about gun control. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. I thought you. Uh, I thought you meant. Did I hear the news of? Of course, I heard the news of that. Uh, you're talking about the the liberal response, like in these school shootings. Yes. No, there was none of that. Not a word. And the second thing is, why don't we make all of Washington, D.C. a gun-free zone, which would make everyone in there perfectly safe, and that includes <laughs> getting rid of all the armed guards for all the members of Congress and the administration and all the heads of agencies and such. Well, having worked worked there, most of D.C., um, at least on Capitol grounds, is a gun-free zone, uh, except for all the armed guards and all the armed entrances. It's basically a fortress. But can you imagine, can you imagine Maxine Waters say, when you said, we're going to remove your armed guard security team? Yeah, because gun-free zones work, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, she is she is a woman who I truly believe have has lost whatever was left of her mind. I mean, she is uh, the people that uh, I'll tell you what worries me more than Maxine Waters are the people that continue to vote for her. What must they be thinking? Exactly. It's the same kind of people that sent uh, uh, Marion Barry back to the mayor of Washington. <laughs> exactly. You know, I'd forgotten about that, but you're exactly right. It's, yep. uh, you know, people generally get the government we they deserve, and the rest of us are, are busy trying to undo the mistakes and try to make it right for everyone. And when someone starts complaining, gosh, why doesn't God do something about all these problems in the schools? Remind them that God's not allowed in the schools anymore. No, you're, you're right. Uh, I mean, you know, prayer honors God's presence, which is probably needed more now than any time in our human history. Um, and whether it's in our families, in our schools, um, you know, we need him. We need his presence. We, uh, these kids, uh, I shudder to think what these kids are going to be like upon graduation. We've already graduated several generations of kids um, that, quite honestly, are emotional cripples. Um, and it's because of liberalism and political correctness. That's exactly what it is. Um <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't believe this. This I still don't understand. And I'm a, reason, a reasonably intelligent guy. I've got several degrees. Don't know that they've ever helped me. But I can't. This had to be a concerted effort. Um, it had to be because of Trump. NRA was somehow connected with Trump and vice versa. And that's why... We're hearing about, uh, you know, Avis and Hertz and and United Airlines and Delta Airlines and everybody cutting their ties with the NRA. It must be it must be an overflow of the never Trumpers. It, it's got to be. All right. Uh, Twelve minutes after the hour, we'll step aside very quickly. Look at that afternoon drive and back with your calls. I, I'm still waiting for an answer. What does the NRA have to do with any of this? I'm Rick Roberts. All right, 18 minutes after the hour. Okay, putting God and prayer back in public schools. I I know a lot of you younger are going, what? What? God and prayer? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, it used to be that way. There was a petition to put God and prayer back into public school. You know how many people... Uh, Signed on to that petition? 49. 49. Did you hear me? 49. From change.org. When it comes to, uh, there was another petition at the same time. Remove NRA TV from Amazon streaming service and website, which, by the way, Amazon is considering thousands. 
thousands upon thousands of people responded to that. We have been indoctrinated with political correctness for so long. We don't even know what the fundamentals of life are. We don't get it. Um, all right, I, I feel another rant coming on, so let me get to your calls. Gary and Keller. Gary, thanks for waiting. How you doing, Gary? I'm doing great, Rick. I tell you, you hit it right on the head when you talked about taking uh, prayer out of schools. It's ridiculous. Our Constitution was, like you said, was founded on the Bible, and <laughs> this country was founded on the Bible. But my question is, where is the outrage for the millions of babies that are aborted? Oh, that's a, no, that's a, oh, well, we're now, now see, you're just talking crazy. That's a medical <laughs> procedure. That's, that's a oh, form yeah. of birth control. What's wrong with you? Yes. Is that why it had to be legalized to do it? It's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. We have, uh, in our Constitution, we have the guarantee of life. That's a joke. And we have a guarantee to to bear arms. So what's the difference? You know, the millions of babies are being killed. And where is the outcry? Where are the Democrats coming against that and saying, oh, you know, they got, they've got they already received over a this A woman year. has a right to do with her body whatever she wishes. Where have you, you must have been under a rock someplace. I guess. Yeah. I guess I must have been. That that, But that, that, that's a lame excuse. That, of course it is. You know, when you got Planned Parenthood in the schools and you talk about having abortions, well, do we really have to tell the parents? Do we really have? I mean, it, it all that and some of the video games. And like I said yesterday, I'm not talking about Pac-Man or Space Invaders or any of that. I'm talking about video games uh, where you stop uh, your driving. Uh, you know, Driver was pretty cool. Um, I used to play that with my son, but now you got video games where you can drive, stop, uh, on the corner, uh, get your dope, uh, stop on the next corner, pick up a hooker and she will pleasure you as you drive down the street to a club. That's a video game, uh, between video games and movies and some of the, uh, forgive me if you're a rap music fan, some of that movie has nothing to do with rap, has everything to do with crap, uh, killing, uh, killing cops. Um, you know, demeaning women. Where, where's the liberal outrage on that? There is none. There is no, none. No. Not a bit. There is no outrage at all. And, and the Democrat Party has received over $100,000 in contributions from Planned Parenthood and zero for the Republican Party whatsoever. And the Republicans stand for life and liberty. Where are the Democrats? Where are they? Where is the outrage? Well, I mean, I, I just I, I can't even fathom it. Just it irates me so much to to hear the crap and I'm not taking anything away from the, the kids that are being slaughtered in the schools. I understand that. That's a sad situation. But what about the ones that don't even get a chance to go to school? That is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I'll say it out loud. You don't have to say it. Uh, all this liberalism, political correctness, that's what killed 17 kids in a high school in Florida. Not a gun, not guns in general, not the NRA. Liberalism. Liberalism did that. If you're a, an uber liberal, look in the mirror, thank yourself. You just killed 17 kids. And you're, you'll kill more, there's no doubt. With liberalism, everything is okay. With liberalism, you can devalue human life. With liberalism, uh, there are no checks and balances on human behavior. Everything's okay. My, we just put a transgender in the military. Aren't we progressive? No, you're a moron. You're an idiot. You know, well, if little boys feel like little girls, they can use the, uh, the girls' bathroom. Aren't we being progressive? No, you're being baseless. You're taking away from kids their very birthright of childhood. You're turning them into pawns for political purposes. NRA didn't kill those kids in Florida. A gun didn't kill those kids in Florida. Liberalism. Liberalism that nobody stood up to years and years ago killed those kids. Period. at 3.32 the time. Man, 
Just one of those days. Uh, one of those days. And um, I'm going to get to something here in just a minute that every American, left, right, up, down, uh, should know. And I'm going to prove to you that they don't know it. I don't know, just a little something like the very foundation of living in the United States. First, this is Brian in Allen. Brian, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Brian? Doing good. How are you, Rick? Good. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, Newton's third law says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And these companies decided to enter into the debate and put their money where their mouth is. So I decided to do what I can do and pick up the phone and cancel my Bank of America cards, Bank of America cards, and I canceled my LifeLock membership after 10 years. And you say to yourself, man, that seems a little crazy to, to put yourself out there like that and sacrifice for something that you believe in. On the other hand, this is the only way we can fight. This is the only way we can deliver the little 10 cuts and the thousand cuts that produce a result. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know there's probably a lot of people out there that have similar accounts and probably can make other choices in the market. And in my opinion, I suggest they do. Well, I, I, I uh, kudos. Uh, I mean, you uh, you took an active position. You didn't just sit back. Well, I wonder what the news will be tomorrow. You actually did something. Uh, what he's talking about is the NRA. F it, see, they even wordsmith the news stories. NRA fallout. List of companies that cut discounts for in our in our a fallout from what they, they yeah. didn't do anything. Yeah, they need a label. They need a big name to put their cause on so that they can piggyback on their reputation and get the most number of listeners that they can. But the problem with the listener that support the NRA is that when there is a customer loss over something like this, the emotions are high, of course, but the customer losses are permanent. Bank of America won't be able to call me back and persuade me that they've changed their mind in some way. They've already shown themselves to me. They know I now know where they stand. And as a result of that, you know, I have very firm beliefs as well. So um, I think it's wrong for companies to take positions like this. They're going to risk their customer base. And as a result, um, you know, I think more people are going to do this. I, I think you're probably right. Uh, good for you for standing up for yourself. Uh, Delta Airlines, United Airlines, Enterprise Holdings, that's the parent company of uh, Enterprise, Alamo, National Rent-A-Car, Hertz, like Enterprise, a car rental company, uh, is ending their uh, relationship. Avis and Budget, um, Semantic, uh, that's the Norton antivirus software. Uh, True Car, online car buying service, and I'll be honest with you, I never heard of them before. Um, MetLife, the insurer, used to offer discounts to NRA members, auto and home. MetLife, uh, they're ending their relationship. Uh, Simply Safe, the home security company. Uh, First National Bank of Omaha, That's uh, those were the people that did the uh, NRA branded Visa credit card. No, we can't do that. People are upset. I'll tell you what I'm upset about. You want, you want to know what I'm upset about? I'm upset uh, that they call a petition to put God and prayer back in school. Well, Rick, that's just nuts. Well, if you want to end school shootings, if you want people to respect themselves, if you want schools to be a place that are appreciated by both students and faculty and parents, then you put God and prayer back in schools. There was a petition to do that on change.org. They got 49 people, 49 people. And then they'd say, well, how about banning NRA TV from Amazon's uh, stream? Thousands upon thousands. They don't even know why. They have no, they don't know. They're just, all they know, well, I heard on the news, uh, NRA's bad. Uh, you know, I, I heard on the news that the NRA had something to do with killing those kids. Get rid of the NRA. Who, who came up with this? As a matter of fact, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something right now. WBAP has a has a Facebook account, right? David, put your cans on. Yes, sir. They have a Facebook account. Okay, and people can if you, they can go there and they can they can type in messages and all that, right? Yes, sir. You're correct again. Okay, um, and I've seen what happens when this audience gets drove up when they get ginned up to do something. I've seen what happens. I've seen the volume. I've seen the numbers. You know the change dot org thing. Um, I'm, I'm dismissing. I'm putting. I'm just hold on a second. Okay, just got rid of it. 
We're going to do the WBAP Facebook. If you are in favor of putting God and prayer back in schools, go to... Go to Facebook WBAP. Facebook WBAP. That's correct, sir. All you have to do is put in your comment. That's right. That's it. Now, what we might want to do, we might want to put a hashtag in front of it. So what was your statement again? Putting God and prayer back in public schools. So why don't we use hashtag God and prayer? Hashtag God and prayer. All right. That's good. Hashtag God and prayer. Uh, you want to end, uh, you know, kids killing kids? You want to end the public school being the giant social petri dish for every ridiculous agenda that comes down the pike from the federal government? Uh, you want to make your voice heard just like that last guy? Hashtag God and prayer. Facebook, WBAP. Uh, I guarantee you, we'll get more responses in the next five minutes than Change.org got in in the entirety of the petition. I, I tell you what, give me a count. Give me, what is it, three minutes? about 3.30 Central Time. Give me a count at 4 o'clock. Okay, no problem. I'm pulling through WBAP site right Facebook, now. Facebook, WBAP, hashtag God and Prayer. Oh, Rick, you shouldn't be talking about God. Oh, Rick, don't talk about prayer. Don't tell me not to talk about prayer. You, schools empty out a room with prayer rugs for their Muslim students. Don't tell me I can't talk about prayer. If we can set up a prayer room for Muslims uh, in our public schools, I can sure do it on a talk radio show. Facebook, WBAP, hashtag God and prayer. I guarantee you we'll have 49 responses by the time I get back from the break. So you'll watch that, right, David? Yes, sir. I'm okay. logged on right now. All right. And then you know what I'm going to do with all that? What's then, that? Then I'm going to make it national. Then I'm going to make it national. I'll tell you how a little bit later. Okay. All right. Hashtag God and Prayer. Um, Facebook WBAP. Don't tell me I can't talk about God. Don't tell me I can't talk about prayer. Well, Rick, you know, it's it's commercial broadcasting. I know that. I know what keeps the lights on. I've been doing this long enough to figure that out. I also know how people really feel they may be drowned out by the so-called politically correct crowd but they still have their opinion all right let me get to your calls let's go to uh rita in wichita falls rita thank you for waiting i just uh, went off on a rant there but go ahead rita well thank you for taking my call i have two points that i really want to make my heart is crying right now that I, i'm trying to Okay, let me just make these two statements. When the means of a free country, citizens, to defend themselves, family, families and properties, the country and people will cease to be free. And I want to refer people, if they have any doubt about that, go to your history books and look up Mussolini, look up Stalin, look up Hitler, look up Kim jong Un. So it, it, it's just history repeating itself. And I think that if we don't stand together, we're going into the toilet. I'm sorry, but I just feel that way very strongly. And I want to say something else real quick. As far as God and country and schools, I'm telling you, I am 75 years old, and I have had seven documented miracles in my life. And I'm not a holier-than-thou type of person. I'm very down-to-earth. But I tell you what, if it were not for my faith in God, I would have been dead a long time ago. I would even be willing to share at least one of my miracles right here on the radio. Okay. Well, I uh, all right. Well, I want you to hang on. Uh, see if Rita can hang on. All right? I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I know i got a guest at 345. Guests can wait. I want to hear this this miracle. All right? Uh, let me put you on hold. Yeah, you got there on hold. It. And, and something else, that change.org, God and prayer back in schools, they came up with 49 um, respondents the whole time it's been up. Same website, same petition. Get rid of NRA streaming on Amazon. Thousands upon thousands. Everybody's going the wrong direction. So hashtag God and prayer. On Facebook, WBAP. How many responses have we got so far? Over 50 in what? Five minutes? Less, th less than five minutes? 
Rick, my phone is blowing up because it's connected to the Facebook WBAP. I think I'm going to lose a battery here pretty soon. No, if you lose a battery, plug it in, man. That's what it's there for. Not a problem. All right, we'll step aside very quickly, check your afternoon drive, and uh, come back and hear Rita's Miracle on News Talk 820 WBAP. All right, uh, 346 the time. You know, I got an email. Well, Rick, what did the founding fathers have to say about that? I mean, as far as uh, God in schools and prayer in schools, look, you know, don't tell me, well, you can't talk about prayer, Rick. If you can set aside a room in a public school for Muslim kids to pray, I can talk about praying uh, to the God and the prayer that founded the principles of the country. All right. When I can't do that, like I said, I'll take the first uh, boat off this rock. What did Thomas Jefferson say? And uh, he wrote this into the 1776 draft. It was of the Constitution in Virginia. Uh, it was the first document of a state of their independence. No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. Free man has been debated back and forth. That seems pretty cut and dry until you consider that the second and third drafts of the same document added within his own land or tenement. To the sentence, it seems Jefferson was considering pretty seriously that there should be some limitations on the individual's right to gun ownership. It makes sense to own a gun for self-defense on your own property, but a different set of issues come up when the gun is taken into the public sector. Benjamin Franklin, the American politician, writer, inventor, and all that, drafting of the Declaration of Independence. Another oft-used quote, I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. I mean, I could go on and on. I'm a student of the Founding Fathers. I love it. I love it. And I love my God more. And please don't tell me uh, the petition for putting God and prayer back in schools on the Internet, on change.org, 49 people took time out of their busy day to make a comment. Well, I'm making it easier for you. Don't tell me 49 people, uh, only 49 people care about that. Uh, but if you go to, well, take NRA off Amazon, as Amazon uh, streaming, thousands upon thousands. Well, it's NRA. It's got to be bad, right? What's it? I don't know what it stands for. I don't know what they do. All I know is the news says they're bad. I'm not sure what they're about, but the view that Joy Behar, she doesn't like them, and I watch her every day over my tea, so let me vote against the NRA. That's how we're running this country, and I'll prove it to you in just a little bit. All right? I'm going to prove to you why this country is imploding. So I decided to do something. And then I'm going to make it national after we get through doing it. Uh, you can go to Facebook, WBAP, hashtag God and Prayer. Put in your comment. Put in your comment. We got more in literally three minutes. Randy, you were watching the clock. That's your part of your job. How long did it take to get 50 responses? Oh, less than 10 minutes. It, it literally went to break. What was it, David? Three minutes. It took three minutes. Three minutes, and we got as much as they got on change.org the whole time it's been up. Right now, we're over 200. Over 200. In what, 15 minutes? Less than. Less than 15 minutes. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to make it easier for you. Okay. Uh, we've got a Twitter thing. that We get to Facebook. You got to Twitter. Uh, the whole nine yards. Are right? we going to hit all the social media sites I'm today? I'm going to hit the social Here media. Here we go. Just as much as one of these liberal goombias that, uh, well, <laughs> listen to me. I'm on social media. NRA is bad. I'm going to hit the social media with both these size 12 Justin Ropers uh, right in the middle of this thing. And then we'll take it national. God, putting God back in, in schools, putting prayer back in schools. Rick, what are you talking about? Prayer in schools? Who does that? Well, right now, only the Muslims. But we should be able to pray in school to the God that we founded this country on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. Where, tell them how to do it. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go to Twitter, and we want you to tweet at WBAP, 
and we want you to use the hashtag God in Prayer. After that hashtag, we also want you to use the hashtag The Rick Roberts Show. So oh, we'll okay. derive our so, name. So we'll know that that's where the comment came exactly. from. Exactly. Okay. Dude, We're getting pretty that, smart. Say that again, because all that stuff, man, I know Randy's running over there answering the phone. Uh, we started something here. Yeah, and, it's his phone call yeah. anyway. Okay, go ahead. Not a problem. We're going to go to Twitter, twitter.com. Go to Twitter. You're going to log in. You're going to use at WBAP. Right. From there, you're going to use the hashtag God in Prayer. Do it one more time. Hashtag the Rick Roberts Show. Got it. Got and that's all you have to do. And I will also say to everybody that's replied to this Facebook, I will send every single one of them a thank you. Okay. For us. All right. All right. Um, I'm not going to sit here and, and listen to the politically correct, free to be you and me crowd, uh, the liberal morons targeting the NRA, the liberal uh, anti gun nuts that are targeting one specific firearm over another. I'm not buying it. It's not true. I'm calling the liberals out nationally. You are lying to the American people. You got all these companies, Hertz and United Airlines and Delta and MetLife and Master. You got all these people. Well, we can't be a part of that NARA group. Why? Well, they're bad, aren't they? Oh, how are they bad? How'd they even get involved in this conversation? How did they even get involved? I'll tell you how a bunch of liberal anti-gun nuts got it. Well, you know, the NRA, they lobby for gun rights. Yeah, they do. Your Second Amendment. Read it. It's yours. Well, I don't want it. Well, that's your prerogative. But every other American has a right to it. You don't have a right to take it away. And as far as God and prayer in schools, I'm sorry. That's, you know, that's my zip code. Well, Rick, you can't have everything you want. No, you're right. I can't. But I can sure as hell try. So don't tell me, well, God in schools, I don't know about that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, really? Really? You're not sure about that, but you will accept every other politically correct uh, devaluation of human life coming down the pike in your child's school system where he or she stays for eight hours a day. That's you're okay with. Facebook, WBAP, make your comment. God in prayer in schools. There's no reason why we shouldn't fight for what we believe in. And that's what I'm going to do. I've had it. Today was not the day to hit me in the face with it. No, I, I'm sorry. I got a microphone, and I know how to use it. 1-800-288-WBAP, 1-800-288-9227. We'll take your calls. Uh, tell David to uh, do, uh, give me, uh, sorry, tell him to hang on. Uh, give me that Twitter thing again, because, I, like I said, I, oh, I'm going to take it head on. It. No, it's, it's <laughs> you know, it's between the emails and the Facebook and the Twitter. Um yeah. We're, well, we're having a great time, Rick. Well, I don't know. Both sides a, of the glass. Well, well, we'll see about okay, that. Okay, so go you're going to go to Twitter.com. You're going to log in. We want you to use at WBAP. After that, at WBAP, use the hashtag God in Prayer. Then also use the hashtag The Rick Roberts Show. And then when uh, we'll let this thing go overnight, I will, I don't know how many we'll, we'll get, but I know it's more than the what change.org did on, on the internet, uh, and then we'll make these national. Okay, Mr. Okay. Legislator, uh, what do you have to say to these fill-in-the-blank number of people? Hmm? What, what do you have to say to them? Well, Rick, you know, I, I'm doing my best to represent the people. Yes, the hardworking Americans. Shut up! I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what you're going to do. You want to get on board with putting God and prayer back in school? That's the only thing that's going to stop the killing eventually. In the meantime, put law enforcement in, uh, limit ingress and egress to the schools. That's a Band-Aid. The, the, the hard fix is changing human behavior, valuing human life once again. Excuse me, Mr. Politician, what have you done lately to value human life? This is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. 
All right, uh, four minutes after the hour. I, I, you know, I'm, as a matter of fact, my program director, uh, Kevin Graham, uh, he's program d- director for WBAP and KLIF, our sister station. He said, what what, uh, what happened here? What, was it a call? Was it? I said, man, I don't know. It just hit me. It just hit me, and a rant came out. You know, I'm sick and tired of being told what we can and can't do by a bunch of politically correct, weak-kneed liberals that get all the attention from the uber-liberal media, and the people that have the right idea are somehow pushed to the peripheral. Yeah, we need God and prayer back in schools. We need God and prayer. It was this country, whether you like it, whether you don't, well, I'm not sure I agree. Doesn't matter. The country was founded on the principles of the Bible, and since the removal of God and prayers from schools, we've got a whole world of unwanted changes that have taken place. Violence has risen to to horrific levels. In general, morals, values have been devalued. They don't mean anything. Most most kids, if you look at them and talk about morals and values, you get this deer-in-the-headlight look. What are you talking about? Drug use, drug sales have increased dramatically in the public schools. The use of profanity. Have you ever been to a mall on a Saturday afternoon? The use of profanity by kids, by kids, and yes, some faculty members, has become the accepted language. Has become the accepted language. Bullying, how many conversations do you want to have about that? Bullying has become part of the landscape, and to make matters, to make matters seem all the more saddening, most kids have little or no understanding whatsoever of what it means to respect their elders. Remember that? Oh, Rick, wait a minute. Are you talking about the 1800s with cowboys and Indians? No, I'm talking about respecting elders, respecting yourself, respecting other people you're around. No concept of that anymore. Prior to the removal of God and prayer from the public schools, our kids had, they had environments, they had learning environments that were valued and appreciated by both the kids and the parents alike. And respect levels, respect, look it up, it's a good, very good word. Respect levels were entirely different than they are today not even in the same stratosphere. Today, our kids need us. They need us to be a voice for what is right for them, not as what not what's politically correct for one or two people with their nose out of joint or a bunch of uh, do-nothing legislators, non-representing representatives in D.C. Every attempt has fallen on deaf ears. I went to change.org petition to put God back in schools. 49 people. Same website, change.org. Ban NRA TV from Amazon streaming. Thousands of responses. So I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself with your help. Want to see you on Facebook? Want to see you on Twitter, and then I will draw national attention to your response. What, do we, David? What do we have so far? About two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty in what? Fifteen minutes? Exactly fifteen minutes. Exactly fifteen minutes. Two hundred and fifty responses. That's correct. Uh, they can go to uh, tell them again how they do this. Okay, so what I had to do is I had created a, <clears throat> on our Facebook page. I created a post, okay. and it says uh, Rick Roberts hashtag God in Prayer. And it has your picture on it. So what I need everybody to do is to like it, comment on it, and also hit that share button. Okay. The more the more shares we get, the more public uh, public eye we get into. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sounds good. Uh, now Grant Stinchfield, uh, good guy, used to be here with us at uh, KLIF. Uh, he's with NRA TV. He's been waiting patiently while I've been ranting and raving. Uh, Grant, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. That patient, I'm entertained. I love you, Rick. I told you, I listen to your show every day. So, 
just sitting here in the car like I normally do listening to you. Well, I appreciate that, Grant. I, I've got a question. You work for NRA TV, obviously, and have. Um, can you explain to me how the NRA even got involved with this? They, I mean, they weren't targeted after Columbine. They weren't targeted after Sandy Hook. They weren't targeted uh, after the school shooting uh, in, Dow- in southern Texas. How all of a sudden did the NRA get involved uh, with the shooting in South Florida? Well, I don't know. I, you see, they call me a child murderer. I was 1,300 miles away just because I host a show on NRA TV. I'm accused of being a child murderer, and all of us over at the NRA are. And, in fact, they call the 5 million members of the NRA child murderers. What they forget, Rick, is that there actually is the Constitution, and there actually is a Second Amendment written in it. And for some reason, for sticking up for the Second Amendment, for sticking up for all our freedoms, we are now vilified, uh, called names, and even worse than that, I mean, you should see the death threats that I get on a daily basis on social media and beyond. And so I'm actually sickened by what liberalism has come to in the United States. It is the violent left, Rick. And I'll tell you, uh, it's to a point where this country is either going to go one way or it's going to go the other. And, and I'm fighting my best, Rick, uh, and I know you are too, right alongside you to make sure it goes the right way, because there are evil forces at play that literally want to squash free speech. They talk about being tolerant, and all they want to do is squash free speech. And you mentioned this whole push to get NRA TV taken off Amazon TV. Well, on Thursday, I will tell you, there is a trending movement right now for NRA members, gun lovers, to go and download NRA TV on Thursday, which is a day that they're trying to boycott Amazon because we're on Amazon TV. All right, say that again because I, I don't want that message to get lost. Okay. So here's what's happening. There are liberals out there, gun haters, that want to boycott Amazon because Amazon gives NRA TV a platform to broadcast on. So when they want to boycott Amazon on Thursday, what we are telling people to do is go to Amazon and download NRA TV. Download the app for your Amazon TV uh, system. Download that app just like you can on Apple TV or Roku and send Amazon a message saying, hey, we're not going to boycott you. We're grateful you got NRA TV on here. And look, it's not just NRA TV, Rick. It's any conservative thought. I hear the commercials for WBAP. Alexa, play WBAP. You wait. The moment you say something, Rick, that they don't agree with, they're going to boycott Alexa and Amazon for having an, an ability to access WBAP. NRA TV is just the latest example. It's going to be the next conservative thinker down the road, and it's not going to stop until we push back and say enough is enough. Talking uh, to Grant Stinchfield with NRA TV, good guy, know him well, used to be here at Cliff. Um, and you're right. I mean, after today's show um, – you know, I'm glad I'm not the program director or the GM. I would imagine there'll be some pushback. But you know what? Uh, when it comes to God and prayer in public schools, when it comes to the NRA, the protector of the Second Amendment, uh, you got to th- say things that, uh, you know, the First Amendment wasn't for uh, speech that everybody agreed with. Um, it was for speech that some people didn't care for, just like the Second Amendment was not in put, put in place for duck hunters. Uh, I mean, it, w- there, there's a ton of different things that we agree and disagree on, but I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the politically correct, free to be you and me, hug a tree. Um, you know, I'm tolerant of everything except God. I'm tolerant of everything except the NRA. I'm tolerant. You know, I've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, Grant, um, one more time, Thursday is the day that people need to tune in, right? Yeah, they need they need to tune in. And I would love it. Look, you can go to NRATV.com. And, and, and I don't mean to give sh- shameless self-promotion plugs, but Right now, the NRA is under fire, Rick. The assault on our Second Amendment rights, on anybody that believes in conservatism, they are coming at us with all they can muster. And so I would just urge your listeners to say, hey, I'm going to show support. I'm going to download that that NRA TV app. Please go to our website, watch the shows. But even more importantly, if you're not a member of the NRA or you thought about being a member or maybe you're a member and you don't realize that your, your membership has lapsed, Now is the time to join, because I am telling you, Rick, they want to destroy us. And the reason they want to destroy the Second Amendment is for one reason and one reason only. They know if they disintegrate us, they have a straight road, a straight shot right to the Second Amendment to trample that and rip it up. 
And I'm telling you, the funny thing, Rick, of all of this is this only makes us stronger. I believe, Rick, it makes your show stronger. It makes the NRA stronger. It makes conservatives stronger. Because the hypocrisy on the left has now been exposed, and I'm telling you, they are going to go down with the ship. And I'm telling you, we are rising up because uh, we're not having it anymore. As you said, Rick, enough is enough. Uh, Grant Stinchfield, uh, NRA TV. Uh, go to nratv.com. Um, Thursday is the day they need your your support. Um, you know, and he's he's right. We are at a juncture. We're either going to keep this or we're going to lose it. When I say this, I'm talking about this country in which we live. And without God and without prayer, we will lose it. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if you want to make your voice heard, if uh, you want to reach out there and push back against uh, the uber-liberal left, we'll tell you how to do that next on News Talk 820 WBAP. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes after the hour, uh, the, uh, this is named Cruz, the shooter in uh, Florida, refused, refused to let the district continue providing him with mental health services after he turned 18. And the superintendent of school said, well, federal law kept us from doing anything about it. Broward school superintendent told the newspaper you can't make someone do something when the law says they have the right to make that determination. Cruz is now 19 years old, accused of killing 17 people. He had attended a school with programs for emotionally and disabled students and returned to uh, Douglas in August of 2016. By November, the situation had dissolved with the support of his mother, Cruz refused special need services and remained at the school until February. Well, if if he was having problems, somebody should have done something. Well, no, we don't want to get in a lawsuit. Screw the lawsuit. The greater good is kind of important. All right. um, You know, I I guess at some point I, I I, I just hit the wall today. I'm saying maybe it was... Such a big deal made out of our first transgender in the military. Oh, right. You know, the military and our public school system is not a place for human experimentation. It's not. By virtue of its very makeup and design, it's not, well, Rick, just think how progressive we'll be as a society when we go to the military, you got your homosexuals, you got your lesbians, you got, uh, you got your bisexuals, you got your asexuals, uh, you, now you've got your transgender. This is my, I'm not impressed look. Okay. Stop with experimenting with the military, and certainly with the public schools. Stop it. Just quit. You know, you won't put God and prayer back in school because, oh, oh, no, that may upset somebody. But boys using girls' bathrooms and girls using boys' bathrooms and transgender, that's not supposed to upset anybody. Well, no, that's a, that's a, you know, a human right. No, it's not. You're free to be whatever you are. And I'm free to not accept it or validate it. Legally, I have to tolerate it. I'm sorry. Don't, no, no validated parking here. Doesn't work that way. So I decided to jump back into social media with both feet. (laughs) Somebody just sent me an email. Uh, You sound like a hater, man. Uh, You sound like a total hater. Uh, You don't like people other than yourself. Okay. Do I look like a hater to you, David? I I mean, seriously. Not today, no. Sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Yes. You're you're a perfectly normal human being. All right. All right. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm, in contrary to that email, I am not a brown shirt. Uh, I guess he was referring to a Nazi. No, you're not. What am I wearing today? You're wearing a a white button-up shirt and a black blazer. But no tie. And no tie and jeans and, yeah. Yeah, and boots. I'm not not a brown shirt, okay? So there you go. Um, Yeah. Isn't hater just another word for somebody that doesn't agree with your opinion? If you're a liberal, yeah. 
you know, I've, I've had it from everybody calls me, not everybody, but I, when, when I get into a conversation with somebody and I try to rely on facts and history, if it doesn't jive with uh, whatever you're PC, a hater. yeah, I hate. You're a hater. Now, how can, I'd just like to know how they can see into my heart. That's oh, well, what it, I'd like to know. It's, it's a superpower, oh, I think. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's, it's like uh, the mutant show on television. Oh, okay. Okay, David, uh, I decided to jump back. The petition for God and putting God and prayer back in schools on the internet barely got a look. They were all for getting the NRA streaming off Amazon, but God in prayer, eh, not so much. So I decided to do it myself. So everything that we do at a regional level, I'm going to draw national attention to, and I know just the person to call for that. Uh, tell people how they can make their voice heard. Okay, there's two ways you can do it. You can go to our Facebook page, and it is the top post right now. It says, Rick Roberts, hashtag God in prayer, back in schools, please share. So right now we have reached 1,400 people, 296 shares, 372 likes, and I can't even tell you how many comments we have underneath Okay, I want the comments because I'm going to make those national too. So you go to Facebook, WBAP, and you can share and do all that stuff. Exactly. What about Twitter? Okay, Twitter. Go to Twitter, log in, use hashtag uh, God in prayer, then also then go back in schools, use at WBAP. Hashtag Rick Rob the Rick Roberts show. Okay, all right. Uh, so um, I, I promise you, uh, you know, for every liberal out there that is gunning for the NRA and for trying to, well, let's get rid of guns. We'll all be safer. No, we got a people problem, folks. Not a gun problem. It's a people problem. Four thirty-three. The time. I'm Rick Roberts. This is the Court of Public Opinion. News Talk eight twenty. WBAP, David, I'm going to come to you for some totals in just a little bit. Uh, I need to get to some calls. I've been uh, very, very slow in getting to the calls. Let's go to Joey. Is it uh, Joey? Am I saying that right, Joey? Yes, sir. How old are you, Joey? I'm 13 years old. You're 13. Okay. What's what's going on? Well, I just wanted to say that uh, the what people are saying about the guns is, is not true because if I said a gun... A loaded gun on a table, and there was nobody picking. Is there's nobody touching it? That gun is not dangerous. And so somebody picks that gun up, that becomes dangerous. Um, people kill people. Guns do not kill people. What? What? Well, that's true, uh, Joey. What grade are you in? I'm in seventh grade. I'm sorry. I'm in seventh grade, sir. You're in seventh grade. Good for you. Um, <clears throat> well, what are your your friends, you're in the seventh grade. I would imagine you know some eighth graders and, you know, younger people, too. What, what do they think about uh, about what's going on right now? Well, I don't know. I, we don't really talk about the stuff at school, but but I think I imagine they're saying the same thing as I am. Are they, are they talking a, a lot about guns? No, not really. No, that's good. That's 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 real good. Well, uh, Joey, you're right. Um, you can put a loaded firearm on the table, and if there's nobody there to pick it up, it's never going to hurt anyone, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Joey, good for you. Where where did you uh, did your parents teach you that? Where did you learn that? Yes, uh, my parents taught me that because we we go hunting and we're very fishing, very big on gun safety, so. Well, yes, sir. well, good for you and good for your parents. It sounds like you've got some good parents too, Joy. Uh, and you give me a call anytime, all right? Yes, sir. All right, Joey. Thank you very much. Uh, hear that? Yes, sir. No, sir. I uh, put a loaded firearm on a table. Unless somebody picks it up, it'll never hurt anybody. Exactly. That's right there. A 13 year old just made the most solid argument against all these liberal politicians and anti-gun nuts uh, that are r raging across this country like a tsunami wave. I mean, it, it, what he said, just say that. That's all you have to do. Joey, uh, good for you and good for your parents. Uh, Howard in New York, uh, where are you calling from, Howard? Please, how are you again? Oh, it's it's Howard from, uh, where were you in the Bronx? No, but I better not say it today because I got something I got to say. All I right. Wanna, I'm going to just say that if you really want to stop all the BS, 
that guy that talked about uh, Bank of America is absolutely right. I, he, he stole my thunder because I was going to say, look, if you, if you think that the NRA is right, that all these people who, who dealt with everybody else, you guys should stop uh, flying those airlines and boycott those things. You'll see how fast those people will uh, change their minds when they see their bottom lines get hit. They do this because it's going to help their bottom line. They think this is politically correct. You want to stop the political correcting? Boycott them and sell the stocks in those companies. See how fast they'll change their attitude. Because what they're doing is playing with fire because they're getting in the middle of politics. And you know what? Companies shouldn't get in politics. They're in the business to serve people, not take sides. Amen, brother. Amen. Howard uh, from New York, you're right. Delta Airlines, United Airlines, Enterprise Holdings. Uh, they own, uh, they're the parent company of Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Alamo Rent-A-Car, National Rent-A-Car, Hertz. Um, Avis and Budget, um, Norton Antivirus, uh, True Car, whatever that is, Met Life, um, Life and uh, Car Insurance, uh, Simply Safe, um, Home Security Company, uh, First National Bank of Omaha that issued the NRA Visa card. They've all said, "Hey, look at us! Look, look over here! Look at me! Look at me! I'm I'm not I'm not hanging with the NRA guys anymore. We're we're cutting our ties. Woo woo! Look at us!" You really want us to look at you? Really? When the NRA had not a damn thing to do with any of this. Nothing. Um, This is a concerted effort to shift this society. Make no mistake about it. Eddie in Walnut Springs. Eddie, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Eddie? I'm doing just fine, Rick. I just want to tell you, I really do appreciate your passion for the truth. You converted my wife to listening to talk radio last week when you were uh, using some scripture. Right. But what I'd like to say today is this, that I believe that they're just a bunch of hypocrites. Um, You know, Dallas invited the NRA to come, and then when this happened, they, they don't want it anymore. They're opportunists. You know, they're not winning on any level. And when this come up, they just all want to jump on that so they can try to get something out of it. And they're trying to get it out of people's deaths. Yeah. 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 The, the left is politicizing uh, 17 dead teenagers. That's exactly what's going on here. And there's got to be some uh, price to pay for that. Absolutely. And here's the thing. I had no idea that all of Enterprise or any of these other companies had anything to do with the NRAs. Now I do, because they opened their mouth. Now I get to boycott them because they want to be political, so I'm going to be uh, political as well and exercise my rights to not give them my money. You know, that's the way it works, Eddie. Uh, I, I'm afraid the, I'm afraid this is going to, I'm not afraid, I'm saying this is going to come back to bite these companies. United and Delta didn't enjoy the best reputation to begin with. Eddie, good call. I appreciate it. Janice in Mansfield. Janice, thank you for waiting. Hi, Janice. Hi, Rick. You're really rocking this show today. I love it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I call Delta. To tell them I would no longer ever fly their airline. And okay, uh, Janice, Janice, hang on a second because I can barely hear hear you. Are you on speakerphone? No, sir, I'm not. Can you hear me now? A uh, little bit better, yeah. Okay, I called Delta and told them I would never fly Delta ever again. And they, t- the girl told me literally to F off. And I said, excuse me, and she said it again. And so I called back to speak to the manager and... He said he was with the man, and I told him I would call back tomorrow and check on that. So we shall see. So I really would never fly them ever again, especially that is so rude. I couldn't believe it. Well, I tell you what, Janice, I want to hear from you tomorrow. Janice says she called uh, United Airlines because of this, said uh, they, she wouldn't be flying their airline, and she said the girl that uh, the reservationist told her to F off twice. She wanted to speak to a manager. Um, she's going to do that tomorrow. Janice, call me back. Let me know uh, what transpires. I, I mean, they've already uh, stepped in it, so to speak. Um, I don't know how they come back from this. Anyway, all right, David, um, 
you know, putting God and prayer back in schools, I know it's a radical idea. You would think, uh, you know, I was I was asking for the first unborn male child of every family. Um, but if I you, don't think that, if you want okay. if you want a long term fix, that's it. Um, where are we with uh, with uh, Twitter with uh, Facebook? Okay, I don't have my Twitter page up right now, but right now we've reached two thousand eight hundred and eighty four people. 473 shares. And do you see those stack of papers I put on your desk while you were talking to Joey? Yeah, you, yeah, you brought this in when I was talking. That is 45 pages of comments. Just and This is 45 pages. You printed off 45 pages of comments? Hey, don't say that on the air. Kevin might be listening. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this with me because uh, I want to see them. If there are more, give them to me before the end of the show. Oh, yeah, it's constantly growing. All right, you go to WBAP. Uh, or excuse me, Facebook, WBAP, um, and then what? You'll see the Rick Roberts post. You'll see Rick's p- uh, picture right there. and says, hashtag God in prayer, back in schools, please share. Cool. Very cool. And you can put a comment there as well. You can put a comment. You can like it. You can share it. Right. I want them to share it. Uh, share it and comment. Do both. Yeah. And uh, I will. Uh, I will and have make, your friends do the same thing. I will make sure this gets national attention. Um, as a matter of fact, I know exactly who I'm going to call. Okay. 4.43 the time. Got to step aside, check your afternoon drive. I'm Rick Roberts, News Talk 820 WBAP. All right, uh, 4.48 the time. What? I'm, I'm going to prove something to you. I'm going to, so much hangs in the balance. Our country, our kids, uh, our faith. Uh, you know what the Bill of Rights are? If you don't, that's fine. I'm going to tell you. The Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. One, Congress shall make no law respecting or an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the press or the right of the people to peaceably assemble to petition the government for redress of grievances. I'm not going to go through all of them. It's your freedom of speech, freedom to worship as you see fit. Um, Amendment two, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people. To keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Amendment three, no soldier soldier in uh, time of peace shall be quartered in any house. And it goes on and on and on. The first 10 amendments are about you. They're yours. They're about you. Now, I'm going to show you what hangs in the balance. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of these MOS, man on the street. Uh, Here's one. A guy is out talking to people on the street. He's, he's doing fake news about Hillary Clinton's campaign. Hillary wants to get rid of the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution that protect you. Do, do you understand? Uh, I mean, the, the first 10 amendments are all about you. They're yours. Listen to what happens when he suggests, well, maybe we ought to get rid of the Bill of Rights. One of Hillary Clinton's primary campaign promises is to repeal the Bill of Rights to help with the New World Order. Do you think it's time we get behind her and support the repeal? I think it is. I think we need change like they've been promising us for so many years. I think it's time to get behind Hillary Clinton and, and, and do support her repeal and support the bill of her. Rights. Yes, I really they're, do. They're just too old. I think 200 years you old. You can't you can't have the 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 rules of yesteryear now. Those we're, freedoms we're, are just so outdated. It's so we much has changed. So much has changed. People have changed. There's just we're, we, were just, we live in a different we world were just now. We're checking to see if the Hillary Clinton supporters uh, support the plan to repeal the bill. Of I rights. support it. You support. I the support it. Bill of okay. I sure do. Thank you. Have a good day. Her plan to repeal the Bill of Rights. About time we do that for her. I think it's a good time to look at it for good sure. Good time to look at repealing the Bill of Rights for Hillary. But folks, these are the people that vote. These folks go into a voting booth just like you. Every one of them, yeah, well, it's about time they're really old, have no clue what the Bill of Rights even are. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution that protect you. I do. I think so. Obviously, you're Hillary. I, Hillary I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in between. I'm a, I'm a little Democrat and I'm a little Republican. I, I'm not the extreme of either or. So. But you do support Hillary Clinton. I do. And so you, you support the plan to repeal the Bill of Rights. Her, yes. her big promise to move America forward. Yes. We're just checking. We're just interviewing Hillary Clinton supporters to see if, if they agree with her primary campaign platform of repealing 
the Bill of Rights so that you do support that? I do. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. One of Hillary's primary campaign promises is to repeal the Bill of Rights to help out with the New World Order. Do you think it's time, should we get over bipartisan differences and support Hillary Clinton's plan to repeal the Bill of Rights? Honestly, I'm not sure. I haven't been following lately. You think haven't Hillary Clinton has the right idea to repeal the Bill of Rights to help with the New World Order? Possibly. You think it's time maybe we support that? Yeah. Might as well. Let Bill everyone Wright's do their own. a little bit too old, I guess. Somewhat outdated. One of Hillary Clinton's primary campaign promises is to... Everybody, your freedom of speech is hereby outdated. World order. You think it's time we get on board with her and, and repeal the Bill of Rights to help America progress? Sure. I do. Yeah. I have nothing more to say. Nothing more to no, say. I don't talk politics. And because Ask I'm an her. idiot. Let's see what she says. What do you think about Hillary's campaign to repeal the Bill of Rights? Do you think it's time we do that to progress society forward? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you think I it's think time so. to get over partisan differences in support Hillary Clinton's plan to repeal the Bill of Rights? I don't know. I really don't no, I have don't an have opinion with it. It could be good. It could be bad. You're just not sure. Yeah, it could kind of go both ways, yeah. depending on what Re exactly they're doing. Repealing the yeah, whole freedom of the press thing and uh, freedom of speech and freedom of religion. I'm I, in the middle. I don't know. Yeah. I'm kind of up in the air. On that. You probably saw one of Hillary Clinton's primary campaign promises is to repeal the Bill of Rights. I think it's time we continue with the progressive agenda and support Hillary's campaign to repeal the Bill of Rights? Well, you know what? I absolutely think uh, I have a unorthodox way of thinking when it comes to politics. Uh -huh. And I agree with a lot of Hillary's policies. And I do agree with repealing uh, the Bill of Rights. Now, okay. Now, okay. I could go on, but I mean, what's the, what's the purpose? You get the message. These people don't even know what the Constitution says. Why? Probably not their fault. We don't teach it in schools. We don't want any pushback. The government wants no pushback. Graduate them as young and dumb as you can. They'll be easier to lord over. They'll be easier for the politically correct people to take charge of. Okay. I had to do that. That's what hangs in the balance, folks. That's why you got to get up out of that uh, lazy boy and go vote. All right, David, what's uh, what are we looking at total-wise? Right now, 611 shares, 4,600 people reached, and over 500 comments. Folks, it's time. We had it once. It worked. We only changed it because of the politically correct people in uh, Washington filtering it down through the public education system. Time to put God and prayer back in schools. Rick, you can't say that. Well, I did. All right? And I'm asking you to support it. And then I'm going to bring national attention to it. Go to Facebook, WBAP. You'll see the post. Uh, share it and then comment. All right? And I, I promise you I'll look at every comment. Keep that thing going like a, a ticker tape all night long. All right. And we'll see what the totals are in the morning. I'm Rick Roberts. Mark Levin's next. God's blessings on each and every one of us. That's my uh, sincere desire. Whether you agree with me or not, this is too important to leave alone. we got to do it. I'm Rick Roberts.